Welcome along again everybody. This is Chad from CBW Farms coming at you and we're back in the field today. We had just shy of a half inch of rain over the weekend um, so that kept us down I guess but um, it dried up a little bit yesterday and and now today it uh, yeah it's dry again so we're back in the field. There's a couple damp spots but yeah, so we're in one of the little bit bigger fields, I guess. Um, as you can see, it goes pretty much as far as we can see. And we are one mile from end to end here, I guess. So this field could take a hot minute to get work today. But we're back in Duggo. You can see the front duels like the giveaway. No fenders on the front. Uh, heading about 6.3 miles an hour. And again, I have the mulch finisher. Maybe it's easier to see, but today I do have the disc up again. So we're not having to cut into the soil to make it too fine. Things this field was dissed last fall, just to kind of open it up and bury some of the trash. And that it's kind of hard to see behind me with all the dust, but I have to video from this direction because otherwise you wouldn't see anything in front of me. Oh, I thought there was a bird or something there, but it was just a spot on my window. But yeah, just kind of getting this field underway. I got a little field done here a little bit ago. Not a very big one, but so yeah, we got a ways to go here yet, but uh, Braden is out planting today. So he's getting to run the planter for the first time this year and he'll do just fine at it. He knows the technology as a young, young man anyway, so he'll know the technology a lot better than we do. So he'll catch on in a hurry and he's getting another 80 acres completed that I had work the other day I guess and that I worked Saturday before the rain and so like I said we didn't get much rain so we didn't have to rework it thank goodness or whatever we'd hate to waste any fuel if we don't have to but yeah with these rows I could almost just well do a live stream to you guys because <laughs> I got plenty of time to sit and talk to you other than the fact I can't keep my battery full on my phone I can't plug my phone in because my my charger port on my phone is getting really weak and all I got to do is breathe on it and uh, the cord would fall out so you got to be careful at night how you charge it even otherwise I'd have a cord in here plugged in and a brand new cord don't help matters either I've noticed so yeah I just got to be careful on the on the phone charging side but nope had a couple little minor repairs today to, to make on here I lost the shovel in the field a sweep off the cultivator uh, so got that fixed so hopefully Braden don't find it in the field he's in in his tire I hope he finds it but not in the tire or anywhere they're kind of sharp and pointy but got that all fixed and that's what my video that was released before this one was of just getting a few minor parts no big deal it, it happens I guess so but at least I got to have a trip to the John Deere dealer today and and see what new and exciting stuff they had on the toy shelves at the same time so got to look at that stuff every once in a while too but yeah, as you can tell, it's taken me a while to get from end to end, so I wish I had a full charge of battery because I could be watching live streams and doing a few things in between. I mean, I still got to watch what I'm doing, but, but um, no, it's going well. We're digging the ground about three inches. I've got it up just a little bit, and uh, that'll just dry it out a little bit here, loosen it up, and give us a nice seed bed for the corn anyway. Uh, even though this, this is a mile long, this, this is actually two fields that are put together. So I'll add some end rows or headlands in the middle of the field so we can separate them. But I'll do that way towards the end when I'm done with the field. But, so the whole field won't be this big one field. It's actually two fields, but it, it makes more sense to work it all at once since it's a mile long. And like I say, it feels like you're going slow, but you're really getting a lot more done than when you're turning around a lot. So there's always that, I guess, too. Well, anyhow, I mean, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to drop them in the comments. I mean, I try to answer them to the best as possible, and I mean, we're just kind of going here, and if I wasn't in this part of the field, I would, I'd be over by Braden and, and getting some video of the planting, but obviously him to do 80 acres is going to take a lot less time than me to do 160 acres that I'm at in here right now, so... But I can say we're plugging away slowly but surely. We got some warm temperatures. Uh, we're in the mid 80s today, almost upper 80s. Uh, thank goodness the air conditioning works good in old Duggo here. And oh, we're kind of just flying along. Well, I shouldn't say flying along. We're at six and a half miles an hour or less. But anyhow, like I said, feel free to drop a comment and pound that like button. And I, it's kind of hard to get my, my camera angle at the rate 
direction here, but yeah, thanks everybody for watching, and if you like what you see, hit that like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do for more content for this and Farming Simulator, so whatever thing you kind of prefer to watch, and like I said, any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I will answer them as soon as I can. All right, thanks everybody. Have a good day and a safe spring. Take care all. Bye now.